Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I have this Ram 2500. And today we have the code, the full code, in, a, in this Cummins engine, P003A. It's a code and refers to a turbocharger failure. Today I'm going to explain you why this cup comes on. So, you wanna have the check engine light on and the power won't increase over 2000 RPM. Sometimes it will go higher, sometimes it will stay there. Vehicle have no power and you will have no speed at all. It will stay low. So, the situation happens here. We have the turbocharger position and we have the commanding position which is the this is the computer command and this is the actual position in the computer register from the actuator the computer is asking for 94 percent you can see here but it is receiving 40 let me get it closer there yeah 49 percent so what happened here is then the actuator goes bad but this is the reason why the actuator goes bad because it's not it's not uh, responding to the ECU request um, to fix this problem we have to uh, replace the turbo actuator um, but it's not an easy task on these Cummins engines if you wonder what, where is the location of the turbo actuator it is going to be that is the turbo actuator. To access it, you have to remove this panel. Here we can see it better. All the way there. That is the turbo actuator. Anyway, um, this is a very common problem on Dodge Rams with a 6.7 turbo diesel engine. I thought I should share this with you because there are codes, um, I mean, there are videos about this code, but there is uh, no information about how to notice if your turbocharger actuator is bad but here you have the information to know if your turbocharger actuator you need the scanner so get the scanner plug it to the over the port and check these measurements right here these two measurements and there you're gonna see the fall right here and of course we need to replace it and once we replace the actuator we have to go back let me just go back and uh, okay, going all the way back. Let's wait a second. After we do this, after we replace the actuator, we have to what? Uh, this is not what I meant. Okay, let's go back. Okay, no, it's there. I mean, okay. Um, okay, when I go to system. So on these scanners, the Solus, you're gonna go here to system test and you're gonna click in here and you're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna select this BGT Turbo Actuator Pre-Alignment and Cell Calibrate. This is after or in the process of replacing the turbocharger. So what you're gonna do is uh, get a new, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the actuator. So you're gonna get a new actuator for the turbo. Uh, you are not going to install it. You are going to plug it to the power port, uh, to the power plug. You plug, you plug it to the power port, and and then before installing it on the turbo, you're gonna come over here, follow the instructions. You will align the actuator to the position where it should be mounted. Then you're gonna mount the actuator with all the bolts, and after that, you will calibrate the actuator to the specific. Um, um, position then it should work once it is mounted 
So remember that it is not just to replace the actuator. You are not just gonna remove it and, and place the new one. You have to calibrate cali the actuator too, in order to remove the fault code. Uh, then is this right here? That one, see? All this. See, all these codes are referring to the same fault. But anyway, I thought I could share this with you. So if you like this video, just comment below and if i have time and more trucks like this i want to more more videos about comments issues um signs like we're in big rigs too trucks so let's give it a try let's see how uh, small engines work all right see you later